Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Sagittarius. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month remaining of August 2020. All right, Sagittarius. So what they're showing me here is for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a new partner. This could be something very new to you, uh, getting to know the person, um, honeymoon type of phase. But I also do see here that it is important for you guys to take the time to get to know this person. Um, I do see that there is, there's been, there's like hopefulness around this situation. Um, now this could be a person that you're recently dealing with. You could have just started dealing with them about a month or so. This is ra something rather new. Uh, for others of you, this could represent a new person coming into your life that looking back is going to help you feel like everything or all the obstacles and difficulties were worth fighting for, or they were, it was worth it in the end. Um, I do see here the release your ex card. So this indicates to me that there is a person, this could be an ex-partner, ex-husband, ex-wife, ex-lover, someone that is still surrounding you, and this is a person that is from your past, and what they're saying now is that it's time, the time has come to clear your energy, it's time for you to pull away from that, it's time for you to end that, um, step away from the past and embrace something new embrace the new beginning embrace your singlehood if you recently went through a divorce yes it's something that is life-changing and it is extremely difficult but at this point in time what spirit is saying is it this was what was best for you and though it may f uh, be difficult for some of you guys it could be that you've been divorced or you've been single for over a year and or over five years for some of you guys and it's almost as if you kind of have lost the des desire to connect with someone or lost the desire of giving yourself into a relationship because you fear getting hurt. What they're telling you here is when this new person or the person that you're dealing with right now, don't rush anything. Don't rush into a relationship. Don't rush into commitment. It's important to get to know each other. Take the time to genuinely get to know each other to understand or know or learn what they like, what it is, how how are they around their family? How do they treat their mother, their father, that type of energy? It's going to give you an inkling, an insight into how they're going to be when it comes to partnerships. And you also have here romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So again, if you recently found someone and you feel very gravitated towards them or very pulled towards them, what Spirit is telling you is really put the effort in. This is something that is going to be worth it in the end. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So again, don't resist the changes. Don't resist the new beginnings. Um, when we go through situations where we are left bruised and battered in when it comes to love and we sacrifice so much for people we kind of you know your defense mechanism is like you got to protect yourself you know you bring your walls up and you don't allow people to really come in and this is not just in love this could also be a representation of uh, people around you the family dynamic it could be your sisters your brothers that are trying to be there for you because you've gone through something that was very transformative uh, you've gone through something that is very difficult and again if that's the energy that you're currently dealing with embrace that don't seclude yourself don't pull yourself away from your loved ones they're trying to be supportive they're trying to be there for you um and again, like I said, it's important to let go of the past. Stop reminiscing about the past. You know, even, and this is something that I see oftentimes when I'm dealing with clients, that they speak like you could be talking to them for two hours and those two hours they will sit there for an hour and a half and talk to you about their ex and how horrible it was to be in that relationship, yet they took almost an hour and a half just talking about them. 
whether it's good that you're talking about them or whether it's bad, it's still energy that you're putting towards them. Therefore, you're unable to move forward because you're constantly reliving the past. So again, being mindful about that type of energy. Now, I'm going to be pulling out two cards, and these are the energies that are currently influencing and affecting you at the present time. Let me tell you, Sagittarians, if you guys have been single for quite a while, that is coming to an end. You have Venus. Venus is all to do with love, obviously. This is the ruling planet of Libra. For some of you guys, it could be a Libra that's coming in. But Venus is a representation of love. This is talking about beauty, harmony, romance, charm, receiving sensuality. Uh, this is to do with magnetism. You're going to be noticing people looking at you more often. You're going to notice being pulled towards people or them, you know, kind of uh, you look away and then you turn and you take a glance or, or see take a, a moment in time where you connect with someone or interlock uh, with your eyes and, and this type of beautiful energy so embrace that energy you also have the seventh house my lovely so seventh house is to do with long lasting relationships this is to do with love this is to do with marriage so again venus in your seventh house could represent exactly that now these are energies but keep in mind this is currently what is assisting you at the present time so with the seventh house this is to do with partners companionship best friends marriage relationships uh equilibrium uh sharing communion justice balance social awareness so again venus in seventh house is exactly what you want to see when we're talking about love and romance so for some of you guys commitments coming in for others of you if you are currently um in a relationship and the ex is still surrounding that energy or you feel like maybe they could get it right this time i'm not sure if i should you know embrace this new beginning or go back to my ex what they're telling you is release the ex no longer deal with the ex embrace this new beginning this is going to take you to commitment all right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment, and we will see each other soon. Bye.